Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on a simple binocular mechanisms. So we can equip the binocular like this. So me and so out. And that's all for now. We can take it out and switch to another weapon. So yeah, this is what we are going to work on today using the binocular. In ALS system, I already have a binocular mesh and an animation that I can select like this. So this works, but the problem is that it doesn't have any zoom in, zoom out capabilities, so tag in enemies capabilities, so anything useful. It's just a mesh and an animation. <laughs> and also, uh, I have already implemented this uh, sniper which already has a scope and with zoom in zoom out capabilities. So if I can reuse these mechanical sums that I have already implemented, there is an array. Where, uh, Right, a uh, solid creator. So if I can reuse it, then it would be easier for me to implement the binocular. So here is the sniper weapon. <coughs> and I'll create the child blueprint from this binocular. And here on the gun type, I'll add another name, Binocular. Okay. This is not a gun, but still I'm going to implement it as a child class of gun. Right. Now, for the binocular here, or oh, this is switch weapon macro, so it is already open. So, because therefore, I'll choose this binoculars overlay state for the binocular category. Uh, then open it <clears throat> so here we should be using a skeletal mesh as the binocular as the weapon mesh but I don't need that so let's clear that off <clears throat> and we have a binocular mesh somewhere. Yeah, here. Let's use it. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, like this. <clears throat> Gun mesh is facing that way, so binocular also should face that way. <coughs> right, and then let's set the weapon category gun type to binocular. Now, actually, we need to have the binocular attached to the character somewhere. But where? 
<coughs> maybe let's go here yeah, let's animate primary weapon socket is here uh, let's go to the skeleton <coughs> And we have we have the sockets here. Secondary weapon socket. Ah, uh, this is uh, where we attach the pistol. So it's in the right thigh. Similarly, <laughs> let's add the socket to the left. <coughs> Not like this. Let's name it binocular socket. Right now, um I shall test it here. Let's add uh, these are scene components. Let's add the scene component under mesh. Scene. Panicular socket. <coughs> now, uh, let's attach it to the binocular socket. Okay, let's preview a binocular here by adding. A binocular object. <coughs> Where is it? Why can't I find it? Today, oh, I attach it to the player. Well, I should have attached it to the LS anime because not only the player can have a binocular. <coughs> Okay, now let's try attaching. That looks big. Mm. Maybe we should make it this one. Uh, didn't become this smaller. Why? Oh, sorry. We should make the mesh smaller. <coughs> All right. Shall we check how it looks? Oh, it's colliding with the player. That's why place moving sideways <laughs> so let's disable collisions now it doesn't 
don't have any effect. <clears throat> All right. Now to equip that. Uh, so first let's add a new input event. Oh, one plugin. Project settings. <clears throat> Toggle by Nokia. Do we have an event already? No. Right. Then let's add a new action. Toggle by Nokia. Key is B. <coughs> Now here we have switch weapons and then let's have toggle by inocula. So we can use this same switch weapon. Uh, <coughs> but to that we need to give uh weapon object actor object so we can get the binocular get child actor and use it let's i don't think this would work right away but anyway let's see what happens oh it does but we can't put it back. Oh, we can. See, but it's attached to the back. It didn't go back to the hip. So, this error again. <coughs> Let's convert this to a validated kit. Right now, the problem is we can equip the binocular. Obviously, we need to change the scope image. When I press B again, it doesn't put it back. So, so the reason it doesn't go back to the hip is here in the switch weapon, we have this selection which select the socket on the character's body which defines where the weapon that is already in hand should be attached in the body but for the binocular it this should give us the special weapon socket because the gun category is still <coughs> special so we don't have anything for binocular so what I'm suggesting is maybe we either we should add another category called binocular or another category to represent binocular maybe with a different name and then select it but uh, yeah let's try that approach Sure, where else I have used this category, so then we might run into other problems. But let's just try this, <clears throat> okay? Here we need to return the binocular. <laughs> okay, now if I Hmm. 
virus let me double binary here that and right click can put it back press one oh sorry i still didn't change the category here oh i have then why it didn't work <clears throat> it can category It should work. Ah, sorry. Okay. Uh, let's try this. Instead of doing it like this, oh, we can. Where do we update this? Right, actually we need to go with the system. So here we have this default primary weapon, secondary weapon and in here we add default weapons. So we can't just add the binocular like this. Instead we have to add Put a weapon and here we can select binocular right now swap gun and the swap guns here also we have this socket selection so we can give binocular socket And that will be added to this guns array, guns map. Now, here, just like we switch to other weapons from the guns, we need to find <coughs> the binocular and use it when we switch. Now it should work, but Let's see. Oh, binocular is attached to the back. Okay. Why? <coughs> oh, gun type is binocular. Gun categories is still a special. It should be binocular. Right. Now you see, we already have a binocular attached to the left eye. If I press B, it does equip it if I press one. Oh, again it goes back to the back. Wrong. Mm, okay. Right. I found out the problem. The problem was <coughs> accidentally I had overridden this. Uh, I deleted it now. This uh, get category this one I had overridden this in the uh, sniper and also in the binocular to return primary weapon so once I delete that now it works fine so here we can get the binocular into the hand and go into admin mode and unequip and if I press one you can see Binocular is now again in the characters attached to the character's leg and weapon is in the hand. If I press B again, now the binocular is in the hand. So, right now, the next step is I again got this error 
what it is. <coughs> Here also, I think I should use a uh, validated kit. Right now, as the next step, let's uh, instead of showing up this, uh, where is it? This is sniper widget. Let's have a different scope. So, I ordered this simple binocular view and let's. Uh, Again, create a very simple widget. Use the widget WDG Binocular. Add uh, Canvas banner. <coughs> and where is that binocular image? Let's anchor it to the corner so we will get a full screen image. All right. I'm gonna change this later on, but for now, this is what I'm going to use: WDG binocular. So here, let's promote this to a class. This class to a variable: WDG sniper scope. Uh, I'll call it scope. Widget and for the binocular, I'll change it. Where is it? Scope widget, widget binocular. And it's not why oh <clears throat> what's the issue? Ah, this is in the widget sniper type. Let's make it a user widget. Right now, let's try. Okay, now it works. We can zoom in. Zoom out also. One more thing. Let's see if we can. This is still working. Yeah. Okay. So, and also we have some other issues here. That we can do from the binocular. We need to disable that. So, shooting is implemented in. I think there should be a function called fire. Yeah, let's just override it and let's try. Okay, now we can't fire. All right, uh, one more thing we need to change this. <coughs> uh, 
uh, but we will work on those details later on and i'm going to stop this episode right here it will take a couple of more episodes to finalize the binocular mechanisms so i hope to implement this like tagging enemies as well so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye